Alright, episode 5 and the fig hunt begins. So, no face cam in this episode because it's early morning and that is the magic of this game. I couldn't wait to play. So, we need to sort out this abbot. So the abbot is missing and there is a certain order of people to speak to in this. And I never remember which is which. Something about blah blah blah. Alright, speak to the maid. Yeah, this is the point of the game where I feel like it kind of starts to get really good because you start thinking about vocations and tactics and all that and just generally levelling up. Alright, it's not him. Let's speak to her. Is it something about the figs? No, none of them. Maybe it's still the guy upstairs. Yes, there we go. Ooh, Aberjack was given shining fruit. It sounds like the fig. Oh, dearie me. She was filled in some overwhelming power. Oh, dear. It looks like these figs are dangerous to mortals. Well, let's track him down. Who gave him his lunch? Oh dear, it was you. Well, that's a uh, good thing I remembered. So he's eating the fig. Oh dear. Given to a man that wanted to be a martial artist. Is it you? Yes. Oh dear. Barmaid in public. Well, we've just spoken to her. Maybe it's the bartender. Alright, I've spoken to her. I think. I oh, know we're done, though. Lovely. Appear, Stella. Hmm. And who is this mysterious fat guy? Just ask the important looking man. Another 2D man, so he can't be that important. Right. Yes, it's me. He left the abbey and it harbored some mysterious power, this thing. One of how trains. Yes, I reckon I can. I am in search of this fig after all. I can now bow. Well, that's wonderful. That will be essential for progressing in the story for no particular reason. East of all trades, Abbey. Right. Well, let's fucking go. So, before you jump straight in, I did a little bit of grinding off camera. And I'm just opening this just so I can play the theme tune. Yes! So basically just filled in the gaps. I think I missed out this guy who was in Brigadoon. And then a couple of the others. Did a couple of Metal Slimes as well, just got a couple of levels just so I can definitely get the boss of Ultra Tabby done. I can't remember what this one is, it might be next. But adding to this, we're going to go out and kill some stuff in the Ultra Tabby region. So, straight out of here. Oh, hills and meadows. Good job done, and now let's cue montage.
Right, I think that should do it. So I think that should be all of the ones in this area. I think I'm probably still missing a little crab. Yeah, this guy's the crab on the beach in the next place, so that's fine. I think we're all good to go, so let's head to the Tower of All Trades. I don't know if we're going to be leveled enough for this boss, to be honest. Because I know he is a bit of a step up from the stuff previous. Fingers crossed. And yeah, we can change vocation after this. So yeah, for now I'm just going to make myself and Jade gladiators and then keep John and Edward as priests. Oh, hang on, new music. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. It's a... Uh, oh, there's a tower song. Uh, uh, <laughs> give me a second. It's, it's not Ubler, is it? I think it's that one. This is the first time we're playing this one. Right, now we need it with sign party tricks. Let's bow. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. I should do the trick. We're in. Right. I think there's a decent bit of treasure in this place. Obviously, we'll do the best diary as we go. So I need this guy, I think. And I might need to teleport out of this place before we do the boss, because otherwise I'm going to have low MP. First use of Zam. That's something I definitely need to do as well, get Jade a new weapon before we start, because she's starting to hit much harder than me. Oh, I love the orchestral version of this track. This is too good. Oh dear, three. We might need some tactics here. Let's send them to sleep. Oh dear, two groups. Try and snooze them all. Oh dear, waking him straight up. Speed this one up. Oh dear, we're starting to struggle. go, so there's the corpses. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to teleport out at some point. So I'll keep going for now, teleport out, get Jade a new weapon, and come back to the boss. Right, let's see what else we can find. Pretty sure those stairs up are the right way, but there's something good out here. My spidey senses are tingling. Oh, triple chest. Bit of money. Bit of money. And a leaf. Well, that wasn't worth it at all. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go round. I don't know if there's any more enemies in this place to chuck in the best diary. Let's see what this sign says. Vocation is a door to boundless potential, blah 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 blah. Load of rubbish. Ooh, enemy! Right, let's do the mage first. Do it, first use of bang. See, that to be fair is a good AoE spell when you're doing stuff like this. So that kind of highlights the if mages were to be good in this game, which I don't believe they are at all. They must be good for just like general mobs and just using stuff like Kaboom or in the end game. We just get rid of them all at once. I don't know. I maintain that they're complete rubbish in this game. There's only a few vocations that are semi-decent. Gladiator and Priest, which are the two I just pretty much always use. Sages are decent, but not as good as Priests. Armamentalists are useless, Minstrels are useless, Luminaries are useless, Mages are useless. I don't think Rangers are any good at all. And then Paladins are the other one that are brilliant, but I haven't used that much in my normal playthroughs. I know I'm going to have to in this one, because... We're going to have 
a shot at le level 99 legacy bosses. We're going to need them. Oh, didn't mean to attack, but oh well. Big times four. Oh, lovely. <sighs> Shield? Nah, mini metal. I can't remember all the chests. Right, this should be a slime stack, I think. Oh, it's going to be a king slime. I believe. Summon some more, do something. <laughs> Ooh, coup de grass. The warrior one's a critical hit, I think. Right, I'm going to save that until, presumably, the king slime appears. Right, hurry up, slimes. I might just have to start defending so they just summon everything they need, because I'll just keep going otherwise. Come on, get a move on. Maybe it's just slimes, I just didn't use AoEs. <laughs> I'm not sure I have any though. Uh, we'll start using snooze. I'll do it for now. Well, that went well. <laughs> I got two out of five. Oh, come on. see this big attack. Not this one. Come on. Deliver it. Oh, cheeky. If they summon any more, I'm <laughs> going to be pissed. It's alright, they're all asleep now though. Let's have more attack. Lovely. Let's finish them off. What a pointlessly long fight. At least we've got to level up. Oh, Crackle. Gee, I'm not sure if that one will come in handy in this fight, because that's a multiple enemy hitter. Right, I think this is the last floor before the top. Sword! Definitely a sword. Oh. <laughs> I think there's one with an... Oh, enemy. Oh dear. We might be in for a fight here. Go for it, see where we get. Oh dear. See, this is where Defending Champion really comes in. Because as soon as he uses that, there is basically no chance of him dying at all. Unless that snooze hits him. Okay, we're fine. Send done. Stick with defending champion, and then let's wake me up. Lovely. Any more levels? No, none yet. No, I'm not sure. This should be a close boss fight, to be fair. I hope anyway. <laughs> I can't be asked to do any more grinding. We'll see if we have to or not. Oh, come on. Okay, I should have healed there. <laughs> this might be an issue. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> so, right, uh, we're going to teleport out. Yeah, I did make their XP's even in the um, off camera grind. 
Because <laughs> I, I can't settle for them not being exactly the same level. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, oh no, <laughs> that's another monster. Uh, I've got no way of bringing him back. Oh, I'm going to have to cheat again <laughs> and make their XP equal. Oh, it's so unfair. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> I got one of the chests right. <laughs> Squeeze through there, lovely. Uh... Oh dear. <laughs> My espionage mission did not go well there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ooh. <laughs> did not expect to survive that at all. Alright, we're all good. Let's get the last chest and then let's get out of here. Alright, I think I could probably teleport out here because the next floor is all safe anyway. Alright, time to run. Alright, let's go back to. I don't think Ultra's Abbey's got shop, has it? Oh, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I basically want to buy a new weapon. I'll go cough him up, why not? Right, let's just do this nice and quick. Get in and out. Oh, resurrect first. So I've got to fast forward a lot on at the moment. I'm not going to put it on for like the big boss fights or any of the cinematic stuff or cutscenes. It's just to improve the quality of life a bit, just so I can get around a bit quicker. Alright, well I've got 7,000 to spend. Actually, in that case, I might go to... I might as well go to Aldroid's Abbey and then run down to the port. Because I don't know what weapons or armour they do there, but that's bound to be better than the stuff in Coffinwell. Hopefully they have a sword I can buy. Or two. Oh dear. <laughs> Speed up, run away faster. <laughs> Shock horror, it didn't work. I'm going to need a rest again. There we go. Right. Poor Flaffan then. We're here a little bit prematurely, but we're not going to do the story in this place yet because this is the kind of follow up. I, mean, I suppose he can, but it's harder than the Ultra Dabby fights. So let's not engage with any of them yet. I don't want to start trying to work out the references for this place, but let's just do a bit of shopping. Hopefully, we get. Does this place do a sword? I'm not sure it does. Sword, please. <laughs> no sword. Oh, it's not really worth buying another shield for them. Helmet, maybe. Oh, it's got a bit to it. Mm, not really worth. Invasion. That's not bad to be honest. That three percent is pretty good. So, uh, and that is high defense as well. All right, I'll get to it. Um. Might as well get four of them, to be honest. Three percent is not bad at all. So there we go. <laughs> it's our new squad outfit. We're all wearing cloaks of evasion now. Oh, we look fucking ridiculous. Oh, God. Alright, I've just got another pair of them. Back of them. Oh, we're not wearing those. No, not wearing those. <laughs> Uh, I think just for the aesthetic, I want to wear these as well. I'm going to run out of money already. I haven't even bought a weapon yet. <laughs> oh, 
and the aesthetic's ruined with the dressing gown as well. So we've got iron gloves, iron boots, and a fucking dressing gown. Oh dearie me. <laughs> that is fucking diabolical. Oh god. This is when I hoped the game wouldn't show appearances for every item. <laughs> but it does. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, what a fucking travesty. And we still need a weapon. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go back to Coffin World anyway. Right, hopefully I've got some shit to sell. I don't think I really need a sword for myself for this boss fight, but I definitely will when we turn into gladiators. Uh, no, arm shop, I won't. Right, how much is your eyeball? A thousand? Fuck me. Right, I need to sell some shit. See, I always worry about selling stuff in this game because half of it does come in handy later. I don't think the Resurrect does. And that's, it doesn't do anything on its own, the Resurrect. I think it's an ingredient for Yggdrasil Leaf. Possibly. Crescents? Oh, I don't know. Right, those we can definitely sell. Right, got enough for one sword. Let's get rid of them because we've used them already. Iron always used, I think. Royal Sword is definitely used in alchemy. Uh, we can set up swords, the ones that we're wearing now. Set all of them. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Oh dear. <laughs> Have any other equipment as well? There we go. High hills. Bang. And. Oh, but the evasion chance. I think at this stage in the early game, the evasion chance is better than defense. Maybe it was an error given those to Jade. Because yeah, I think the slight difference in defense there isn't going to be made up for in the evasion chance difference. So we'll keep her with clogs. And hopefully just, she just dodges more. And then I can sell the boots, which I shouldn't have bought in the first place. There we go. Now we've got enough for two new swords. Lovely. We're job done. And I think after this one, we can start doing some proper alchemy as well. Alright, so back to all trades. We'll have a rest and then straight on to the boss. I realise I've not been as hot with the music on like this because I just can't be bothered to change it anymore. So yeah, I might just go back to using the MIDI soundtracks for a little while, maybe. We'll see how we go. I'll try and be more alert on it. So yeah, if anyone ever does figure out how to mod this game and get the proper orchestral tracks in, then please do tell me instantly. There we go. Because yeah, for those who haven't seen the previous episodes, I'm literally just leaning over onto iTunes. I have the in-game soundtracks muted, and I'm just leaning over to iTunes, changing the song manually. Alright, now we can go straight up, because all the chests are done. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I think this is the biggest feature of this game relative to other ones. I think they nailed the like monsters actually being in the way and being forced to fight stuff. I think this is the first game in which there are actually overworld monsters. I mean, Dragon Quest VIII, the remake, the 3DS one, came after this, chronologically. The PS2 version, I think, was 2004, but there was just random encounters in that one. But I think the overworld monsters are so much better. They haven't worked out how to do it for like the ocean monsters yet because they're still random even in Dragon Quest 11 yeah that's the like big update I think that Pokemon and Dragon Quest needed overworld monsters no more random encounters it makes th it just makes the game so more immersive because like you can interact with the environment and the monsters that are around you as opposed to just random encounters where you're just walking through the glass walking through the grass even 
and then just randomly you're attacked and it's just kind of meh. It's just like you're playing a different game at that point. Right, here we are, top of the tower. I think there should be... 100% this one's money. Fuck! <laughs> it was a money or a mini medal, I knew that much. Uh, nothing there. This one is money. Fuck! Right, let's just quick heal up. And then... Let's pause that track there. Right, I think we're as ready as we're going to get. We're going to find out if level 15 and 16 for me is enough. I don't know. I suspect this one will be a close fight, to be honest. Right, I don't know what track plays here, but we'll leave it mute until the boss fight. So here is Abbot Jack. And what is he doing? Lanshaw interfere with the will of the heavens. Power of Supreme Guidance. Well, that sounds suspicious. Oh dear, he wants to be filled. Oh. oh dear, that doesn't look so holy or heavenly. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What has he become? Oh dear. Deary, deary me. He's turned into a terrifying monster. It's through tyranny and fear that I shall ensure my changes follow the rightful path. Whee! Oh, he looks like he's going to have to be stopped. Even with the stupid puns, he's going to have to make me stop him more. Jack of all trades has turned into master of none. Oh, God. And I've turned up in my dressing gown to stop you. Suffer the consequences of disobedience. Oh, dear. <laughs> It's time to rumble. Right, I think we're going to stick with the egging on slash defending from Jade. Is it going to be worth... I don't think it's worth going to do the buffs at this stage. But what I'm going to do is put Jedward on the front line and have them use defending champions every turn. Because hopefully they can now be basically tanks. Oh dear. Buffing himself, we don't want that. Don't learn Disruptive Wave until <laughs> much later in the game. Alright. Looks like a decent tactic thus far. But I'm going to need healing at some point. I think I'm just going to have to attack through his buff here. I don't think it's going to be much good wait till it clears, because he probably is going to cast it again. So let's heal me, and I've had to defend. She's up at 50. Alright, that's fine. A bit. Okay, not too bad. So 100 damage through his buff, that's not bad. I think we just keep doing that. Well. Okay, it's fine. Defending champion, man. Such an underrated ability. Only needs 18 skill points in there. Sure. All defense return to normal. Hopefully, we can get an attack in before. Big attack, 150, not bad. Let's keep going, another round of that. I think this is the tactic. Okay, another buff. I think it should be fine. All right, I'm gonna need a heal. Jade's close to needing a heal as well. I've forgotten how much <laughs> things she's on. Right, so John defend for this day. I'm not going to try and risk a double heal. We'll have John defend and then Edward heal. Oh, it's on 20. Good. Right. Yeah, 
I think Hill Jade's this turn. Let's have her attack as well. John Hill, Edward defend. Hopefully John doesn't take too much this turn. That's fine. Okay, not bad. Right, it's another 100 on the board. Jade, another round of that. Yeah, I think heal me again this turn. Edward defend. Right, I reckon John will need a heal. Actually, no, I'm gonna let him run. Defend again. John 20, so have our attack next turn. Oh, she doesn't need any MP. Okay, looks like I'm going to need a heal. Oh, his defense has run out. Nice. Uh, John Just for a change. 50. Starting to look a little bit hairy. It's 150 again. I reckon one or two more hits and he's probably dead. But we need to get some heals in. Ah, it's good. <laughs> I think they're going to have to heal themselves. And hopefully they don't get yeeted this turn. It's getting slightly risky, but this is definitely the tactic that works. Low on MP now. Nice! Okay, that worked, that paid off. Just need a heal on Jade and then we can keep going. So which one's the least MP? Alright, that's only two. So we'll have John heal, Edward defend. Nice! Beautiful! We're all good. Attack again next turn. Double defend. It's looking dangerous. Oh dear. Right, I might now have to switch up tactics. Just have Jade attack every turn and me become the healer now. It's got to be the way we do it. Let's just have that heal. I'm banking on him being very low on health here. Okay, it's me back up to full. John's now out of MP. So we've lost the healer. All he can do now really is defend. Yeah, I'm going to wait on Egg on Jade again. What can we do with Edward? I think he'll Jade with his last but remaining MP. So yeah, as good as defending champion is, it is slightly more costly on MP in the early game. Though. It's only 3 MP, which isn't much in late game, but early game. It's a fair bit. Right, she's now on 5. Let's have these two twats defend. Uh, what can we do with Edward? I think one... Should I waste him healing him? So oh, he's got two heals, to be fair, unless he gets drained. Let's have him heal himself. No, he's drained. Should have defended. Right, come on. This is the. This must be the killing shot. Come on. No, he's out. Yes! We got him. Which is handy. I probably wouldn't have lasted many more turns on that tactic. But Alright, it's level for Jade. Not that it matters too much because we're going to switch vocations immediately after this anyway. But There we go. We're still yet to have a death in this game. In this playthrough, that is. 
And there we go. Back into the measly Abbot Jack. What a terrifying shame. Oh, he's lost his memory for a shining fruit. He ate one. Oh dear. Well, how are we going to retrieve that? It must be gone forever now. Mm, you were a naughty boy when you ate it. Yes. Yes, I saved you. Thank me later by changing my vocation for free forever. My soul's in need of guidance. Oh, what's that there? It's only a flapping fig, even though the abbot said he'd eaten it. Oh, what magical things these things are. <laughs> I've muted the sound effects, so I'm just going to have to make them myself now. So there we go, there's the mystery of the figs. It looks like the mortals are consuming them, eating them, doing something, and then gain, gaining evil powers. Uh, let's just find the right music. And then doing terrible things. There we go, the first one is under the belt. Oh, but the spell fails. Right, let's get out of this mysterious realm then. And back to all trades. Okay. So, now, we should be able to change vocations. Who is this mysterious person? I wonder if they're related to armamentalism. Oh, they are. Oh. See, so, yeah, I don't think they're a particularly good vocation on their own armamentalist, but the abilities they get are basically essential. Because, yeah, as soon as you gain the abilities through the armamentalist skill tree, you can switch out of that vocation and still be able to use them in others. And that's pretty much essential. Yeah, every monster in this game has a force weakness, which pretty much, if you apply it, doubles your damage. And then once you've gone, once you've done the level 40 on this quest, you can use the force and have it apply to everyone, rather than applying it individually. Ooh, that was my first quest. <laughs> See, I'm only going to be doing the story quests in this playthrough. None of the um, others. Some of the others for the vocations, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to bother unlocking Elementus yet, not until after the story at least. This is not essential yet. I could not control his power. Such a silly billy. Okay, right, we can now change vocation, but we've got to unlock the one we want first, and that is of course Gladiator. So both me and Jade are going to, at this point, become gladiators. Is it that bloke? Or... Ah, this one. Here he is. Fear means nothing to them. Axes, hammers and swords. Defeat three slimes using Dragon Slash while at 100 tension. Easy. Give it to me. Give it to me, priest. Uh, I think that's been said before. Right, and we're going to go straight for this quest. We're going to get it done, change into gladiators, and then carry on with the game. Yeah, warrior... I don't know if there's any advantage to being a warrior over a gladiator, because I think gladiator is basically just a better warrior. Apart from the ability to wield a shield, but once you've got on the vocation of shield master, that doesn't matter anyway. So yeah, I don't think there's an advantage of warrior. I might be proven wrong, but... Right, Hills and Meadows. We're going to do this quest. So kill three slimes with dragon slash at 100 tension. And it's nice and easy. Just go Angel Falls, snooze them to sleep, and then build up tension, stop them from fleeing. Where are the slimes? <laughs> there we go. Right, let's put Jedward back on the back line. Egg on Jade, and then just cast snooze with them every turn. It should be nice and simple.
There you go, there's a hundred tension. Now let's see how much damage we're doing. Whoop. 350, not bad at all. Alright, that's one down. Defeated one slime with super high tension. One out of three. Less damage that time. But there we go. Two out of three. We only got one snooze left, we're gonna run out of MP. Okay, so I might have one defend from one snooze. I got no more snooze left. I'm gonna have to bank on this one being the one because he's gonna run away otherwise. Yeah! <laughs> Good luck. There we go, 320 and we're job done. Three for three. So we've now finished the gladiator quest and we can change vocation. Right, let's head back to all trades. Straight in. I can't remember what these guys do. Is this the Ranger? No, oh, okay, it's level 15 martial artist one. Okay, I think martial artists are... Are they pretty much useless as well? I don't know what their stats are compared to the Gladiator. But I think the Gladiator has like by far the highest attack. And it's got pretty decent defense as well. So, yeah, I can only assume it's much better than martial artists. But I don't really know. See, weapons are no restriction once you've got the Omni vocation or stuff for level 100. Right, yes we do. Oh hang on, I haven't done the... <laughs> I haven't been back to the Gladiator guy yet. Oh dear. Here you are, I've done what you asked. Now versatile enough to venture into the Gladiator vocation. Wonderful. Right, 
Right. We do indeed wish to change vocation. I wish to become a gladiator, please. So let's just compare. We've got 30 strength, 20 resilience. Martial arts only 20 strength, 11 resilience. So by stats alone, gladiator is much better. It looks like. So yeah, out of all of those... See, so gladiator is higher in both strength and resilience compared to warrior. Higher deafness, higher charm, higher max HP. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Gladiator is just by far the best attacking vocation. So yes, change me into a Gladiator, please. So back to level one. So we're going to have to grind a few metal slimes just so we're ready for the next area, the next boss. Jade would like to be a gladiator as well, please. So I guess in Dragon Quest XI, Jade is more of a martial artist. Just judging by, like... I think every, pretty much every character in every other Dragon Quest game is one of these ten vocations. I guess. And I think Jade's meant to be a martial artist. But that pretty much the same as Warrior or Gladiator. Alright, let's see what we can equip. So you can still do the sword. Can't do shields anymore. Gladiators cannot equip shields. At least on their own at least. Uh, oh, I can still wear my dressing gown. That's wonderful. Still wear my gauntlets. Looks like they're the same anyway. Might as well keep those. Yep. Get my boots on. And my gold ring. And she can do the same. Gauntlets. Cotton trousers. And then clogs. Alright, there we go. It's our new squad. Let's go and rest up while we're here, and then let's get some me metal slimes done. Just to kind of get the ball rolling on um, leveling up these new vocations. I think by the time they're about level 10, they're already much better than the Minster and Warrior we had initially. Right, off the coffin well. And then it's over to do some metal slimes. So let's once again, let's cue montage. Oh dear, it's not gone well already. <laughs> We're gonna need some resurrections. <laughs> First one's on the board, we'll jump straight from level 1 to level 7. That's beautiful. So we get a fair amount of XP points as well. Let's see if it's worth getting any of these yet. No, we'll stick maximum HP up, just get that one on the uh, Just get that one on the board. Stick the rest in sword, carry on with that. Just maximum HP up. Oh, John Ned with her up as well. Oh, what's up, Nifil? That could have been quite handy at the <laughs> last boss fight. Jay's up to 7 as well. So do the same perk, get HP up. And put the rest in the same. Second one down, and we're up to level 9. Not bad, not bad, still 6 more points, chuck those all in sword. And I think a couple more slimes and we'll be at a, a decent level to continue on with the story.
There's the third one down. I don't know what the odds are of them fleeing, because it seems fairly even, so I'm guessing it's 50% of them running away every single turn. Which makes sense. But we're up to level 11. I think one more, and then we'll keep going. There we go, there's number four, and that should do for now. So hopefully that gives me level, probably level 12, maybe level 13 if we're lucky. Nice, level 12. That'll do for now. So a few more skill points, chuck those in the sword. And we're not too far off Falcon Slash now. So yeah, that is, again, a kind of annoying point for, um... Oh, I don't have Evac anymore, I'm not a minstrel. That's an annoying point for um, sort of both the Falcon Sword and the Falcon Slash. They're just massively overpowered in this game. So in Dragon Quest, I mean it's the same with Dragon Quest Eight to be honest. Falcon Sword and Falcon Slash. You just get four attacks. The only disadvantage is that the sword is quite weak, Falcon Sword, but it only gives I think plus twelve attack if I remember correctly. But once you've got like the majority of like the high levels and all of the skill boosts from one of the other vocations, you're pretty much going to have massive attack anyway. So if you've got like 600 base attack, that'll go up to like 750 with the best sword in the game. But with the Falcon Sword, it's literally doubled. So you get 1,200. It's just much better. Yeah, in Dragon Quest XI they addressed that, in which the best swords in the game are actually the best swords in the game. Right. Now we're in poor Flafan for real this time. So, just to check... So we've got level 12 gladiators and level 17 priests. So fingers crossed that's enough for what we're bound to do. I mean, we're bound to be much tankier already than a minstrel and a warrior. Alright, so let's see what these people have to say. It's a young girl gazing out to sea. Oh dear, we're being told off for interrupting her. Interrupting Jonah. Oh boy. Right, I think the accent here is meant to be Welsh. So I think... Poor Flafan. I still can't work out any reference to a real world place. Poor Flafan. It was meant to be port, obviously, because it's a port. But they put an H in. I don't really understand it here. I understand Jonah's name, because obviously he summons a whale when it's Jonah and the whale. Rise up from the depths and bless us with your presence. Yawa. I'm not going to try and do this again. <laughs> it's going to be a mess if we try. Let's see what's happening. Is this all about? Sounds juicy. It's Leviathan. Ooh. Ooh, big splash. Oh dear. Oh look, loads of fish. Jonah has successfully summoned the whale and got loads of fish. How intriguing. Oh, unlucky Stella. Probably ruined all your makeup as well. But let's have a chat. See what's going on, Mayor Bryce. Can't figure out for the life of me why Leviathan only pays any attention to Jonah. Hmm, interesting. I'm indeed a traveller. Trouble you to come past my house. Well, two minutes into this village and I have pulled already. How excellent. Alright, let's rest until evening. Thanks to the Leviathan, they don't have to fish. Hmm. Nobody has to fish anymore, because Jonah can just summon all the fish he needs. There's something fishy going on in this village, and it's not the fucking fish. <laughs> we got higher HP than Jedward already. <laughs> Gladiators are just too good. They're OP. Right. Oh, a ghost. I wonder if she'll be relevant briefly after the main game. Could be interesting. Jonah's being used by something. Oh, something bad's a brewing. Hmm. Well, let's see what she has to say. Hello, hello. I'm waiting for someone who's not been here. Oh, uh oh, I've been interrupted already. I have not pulled. 
No, Bryce wants a word with her. Oh dear, we shall have to delay this conversation. I'll wait for you. Mm, no, I won't. I'll follow you. chest. Oh. I can't, I don't think it's long before we get the magic key. I think it's in the next village. Alright, let's see what the mayor has to say to Jonah. Oh, three 3D people. Not bad. He's not coming back, Jonah. Oh dear, the mayor has decided to adopt Jonah. Bryson's happy. What's Jonah thinking though? Thank you, I'll be sure to give it some thought. Something I was hoping to talk to you about too. She doesn't want to summon the Vital anymore. Oh, re! The mayor's not happy. She doesn't feel it's right. Oh, and the mayor's kicking off. Oh, he's firing shots. That's enough said for one day. You must be tired. Oh, the you must be tired card. It's a harsh one to play. Oh, that's a rage quit. That is a rage quit. Yes, it's me. I followed you here. Followed you here in my dressing gown. Oh, that's not creepy at all. It's just not right. Relying on the God of the Sea. Hmm. Oh, she's asking for my opinion. Is it wrong? Um, oh, how does this story work again? I can't remember. Uh, yes, it's wrong. Oh, good. Just telling her what she wants to hear, because I'm pretty sure I've pulled. Fairly sure. Oh, she's going to tell Mayor Bryce. Oh, dear. I'll have to spend the night with you. Oh, oh I can't say no to that. Oh dear, sleeping with my eyes open again. What if they kick the poor girl out of the village? Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh dear. Oh dear. I've upset Stella as well. Oh, he's not going well. Right, so what's happened then? Can we sort out anything more? I think I've solved everything so far. Oh, why is Bryson by the village gate? And why is he 2D now? Oh dear. Should have seen Dad's face. Fierce as beyond. Oh dear. Got a terrible feeling. I do too, you know. And it's not just because I've played this game before. Okay. I think there should be some new monsters around here. If there's any spark piece to pick up, no, one spawn. Ah, oh, still no better at dodging the big creatures. Get out of here. Five damage. I've barely taken any damage at all already, it's gladiators. Okay, I <laughs> took a fair bit there. Oh yeah, attention to be fair. But yeah, gladiators are tanky. They got some of the highest defense in the game. Highest defense and attack. See, paladins have I think Gladiators have got comfortably the most attack. Paladins are the only ones with higher defense, I think. Right, um, music. I think that's the right one. Gloomy Cavern again. Right, and I want, oh, I want him. I want the crab as well, because that's sort of a missing one in the um, best diary so far. Nicely done. It's that one in the bank. Definitely did him. Yeah, that attack is <laughs> compared to the attack of the minstrel. I'm hitting like 
Gone from hitting four scenes to hitting 50s. So. Easy. Yeah, it's so much of a step up already. I don't like using seeds this early. <laughs> I don't like anything being unbalanced. Well, both the priests the same level, and then same all of their stats. And both the gladiators the same level. Oh, priest level up. Oh, he's just on Zing! That's huge. Oh no, they're uneven. Well, that's going to piss me off. Alright, I still want the crab. But I think he's in here anyway, so that's fine. Chest blocked off, won't bother with that one. Right, we are in Tiwall Cave. That's a hundred percent a five letter word with two L's, that's a hundred percent meant to be a Welsh thing. Yeah, I don't know Wales well enough to know the references here. Ooh, iron kneecaps. Let's chuck those on. Yeah. <laughs> Still completely ruined the aesthetic by wearing a dressing gown, but we're sticking with it. The evasion chance is better than the defence. Alright, what else have we got? Alright, mini medal. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, let's kill him. I'll inevitably encounter more of these, but just for the sake of it, let's finish him off. Nice. Now we're just killing every monster in one turn. Gladiator attack is OP. I can't remember which way forward it is and which way for treasure. Nothing here. Let's crack on this way. Oh, mud raker. There we go, John's up. And he's got Zing as well. So that resurrects with a 50% chance. But being priests, they never learn Kuzing, which resurrects to 100%. Sages do learn it, but resurrects with 100% chance, sorry. But it only resurrects in this game to about 25% health. And I think it's just the differences between priests and sages. Priests learn Omni Hill, while sages learn Kuzing. But I think Omni Hill does what it says, it heals everyone to max HP instantly. But Kazing only revives to 25%. I don't think it's worth even doing one Sage and one Priest. I think having two Priests and then just farming Yggdrasil Leafs, which do resurrect to 100% with 100% chance, I think that's much better in this game. In other games, Kazing does 100%, but not in Dragon Quest IX. And I think that just makes Priests so much better than Sages. I think stats-wise, other than those, that difference, Sages learn some offensive spells. They learn... Uh, Zam and Kazam and all those variants. The priests never really have any attack output at all. Unless you train them with swords or whatever else. But yeah, I still don't think... I mean, <laughs> people might argue with me on this one, but I don't think sages are worth it at all. I think priests just are just better. Alright, if we get another monster up here, we'll need a cheeky hill there. I still haven't got the crab in the Bastaro. I know he's around there somewhere. Right, this is... I don't know. Ah, oh, I was going to say mini metal. Oh, need him. Man of War. Job done. And where is this fucking crab? There he is. Lovely. Alright, let's ice these and then... Oh shit, the best story, because I think we're pretty much caught up on everything so far. No blanks, anyway. Right, I'll check it once we're out of this dungeon, because I think we've still got the... Um, there's still some monsters in here to kill. There we go, that's what I want. Salamar Order. We end up killing these anyway, because they're what you need to get the first legacy boss map, being Baramos. Yeah, just kill him for the sake of it. Oh dear. Oh dear, we're <laughs> being beat. <laughs> Might have to run away. Oh, uh, please don't die, because I can't be asked to teleport out and go through this place again. Shit. <laughs> but he's got Zing now, so we're fine. 
There we go. That saved a lot of quality of life issues. Oh dear. Oh, he's going to run out of MP though. <laughs> Alright. Let's be tactical here. Oh dear. Uh, good, we're clear. I think this is the right way. Oh, we've missed a chest though. That's annoying. Might have to go back and get that one after we've beaten the boss. Yeah, I mean, we can leave this out of more order until after the game, because we'll end up killing him anyway, but... Oh, I feel the need... ...to try and keep their MPs relatively balanced. Right, hopefully one. Yep, nice. Nice. Right, we've got him. I think that's everything in here now. Octopus already. Oh dear. Gonna have to run. Oh, we do have some magic water in the inventory. Although I don't like using them as a consumable because they are quite useful in alchemy, I think. If I remember. Right, now. No, not that one. That's the one. Okay. Right, let's just heal up and then I want to check the best diary because I think we've pretty much got everything so far. There shouldn't be any blanks. No, not squatch. Okay, we're all good. Ooh, 100th battle already! And we're on 20% best diary. So that's not bad going for how far in we are. So that's pages done, and it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we're all clear. So those... Yeah, we're all up to date. So whichever these next ones are, they'll be in the next location. We're not missing anything. So we're on track, doing well. And now, I believe it is boss time. It's a cuddy dig cliff. There must be, if <laughs> someone's from Wales and knows the references here, please do tell me, because I'm fairly sure this is Welsh. A tidy little chap. Oh dear. What's the mayor going to do? If you give Uncle Boris your word the summoning stops tomorrow you will tell her tell the village that she's lost the power and then you can pop down here with me and we can have a summoning secret oh god he wants treasure oh dear he's a bad man can't believe i'm hearing this outrageous it is oh dear all rich and contented oh no and all you have to do is accept that your father isn't coming home. Let me adopt you. Oh dear. He needs to be killed. He needs to be killed. Oh look. I wonder what that is. Oh dear. <laughs> I've not got the most appropriate music playing. Almighty oh, Leviathan, thank you. Come on, Jonah, start praying. Mm, I don't think that's what he's after. Oh dear. The mayor's run. And Jonah's been eaten by the whale. Oh, dearie me. Well, RIP Jonah. What a terrible shame. Oh. That was a bite from the blue. Something seriously fishy is going on here. Stellar, I've made that pun already. All right. No fair. All right. Well, I think we're in for a fight then. Mayor Bruce, you're a knob. Better start helping. What a fucking moustache dickwad. Oh dear. Well, we're in for a fight now. Let's go! So the first boss fight with the gladiators. I think I'm just going to attack every time. Let's have those start doing defending challenges. I, I worry they're going to run low on MP for this fight, but that's the tactic. We're going to see how it works. Okay, so they're not taking any damage, but I'm 30. So doing about 70 damage per turn. Already that's like much better than <laughs> previous. When we had the Minster on the Warrior. So this should be quite a short fight. Whether we win or lose is another question. Nice, no damage that turn taken. Actually, best put Jedward on the front line while we're at. So they'll tank up some damage. We'll save the coup de grace. Oh, I've defended instead of... 
Whoops. Oh well, not the end of the world. At least we saved a bit of MP though. To defending champion. Okay, we need a heal now. Looks like we need a heal for both Zack and Jade. I'm not going to worry about... Yeah, I think we do the coup de grace. Nice, got it in first turn. Lovely. Beautiful. That's full hill and we're back to tanking. Probably less than half health already. Gladiators are just, they hit too hard. Alright, he was in already. Hopefully, he doesn't do anything too drastic. Oh dear, tied away. Okay, I think we just stick to defending champion with the priests still. Alright, he's only got eyes on me. Oh, he still could do. Group wide attacks though. So let's stick to the Fenning Champion for now and then I think he'll me next turn. That's going to be hitting me. Okay. Well, the priests are faster though, so should be able to get here then nice and quick. And I reckon he's nearly dead already. So let's get that here then. Nice. Switch to defending for him. I'm leaving a little bit of MP. I'm gonna run out otherwise. There's the tidal wave. I think we're gonna to have to kill the gladiators. Some mid heals on both of them. And that leaves that's drawn out of the game after that. You can only defend from there. Then heal. There's the rage gone. Let's have him. Yeah, let's have John. Not that he can do much, but let's keep him alive at least. Okay. Oh, I love it. Good grass. I was going to say we're in a spot above it then. Oh, Alright, so let's get... Yeah, it's definitely worth doing, isn't it? We must be near the end of the fight already. There's a full heal on everyone. Lovely. We'll just keep defending, won't bother doing champion, just save the MP just in case. That's fine. That's the tidal wave. I think we're all good, I think we can keep going, no problem. Yes, job done! That was, if anything, too easy. Level 12 Gladiators and level 18 Priests, that was much better than whatever we had before, the Minster and the Warrior. Even though they were higher level, they're just, Gladiators are just too good. And there we are, up to level 13. So yeah, I'm going to keep this Vocations for like the majority of all of the story and a lot of the post-game as well. Because this is two Gladiators and two Priests, they've served me through pretty much every playthrough up until sort of very late game Legacy bosses, where it looks like you definitely need a Paladin.
because their coup de grace is just too good. It basically makes everyone invulnerable. If you get the coup de grace and the paladin and then use forbearance, basically no one takes any damage. But oh look, Jonah's fine, even after being swallowed by the whale. No, I'm not hurt, I'm too good at this game. Uh-oh. Please don't hurt him. Oh, Leviathan's got a voice. Your voice. Ooh. Oh, look. It's Jonah's father. Hang on, let me get the right voice. Is it this one? That's the one. <laughs> it's Jonah's dad. Dylan, what in the name of... What the fap's going on? He's one of the only ghosts the mortals can see. I've just realised. Is that a plot hole? I don't know. <laughs> this golden fruit drops down next to me. He just grabbed hold of it. He dies. He's eaten the fruit, but then he's died. And then he's not dead at all. He becomes Leviathan. Oh my good golly gosh. They're getting dissed. He deserves it. Let's leave this greedy little village behind and it's water of a man. Oh, dead. Oh, Jonah can't go. She wants to stay here and help the fishing. She wants to stand on her own two feet. Oh. In comes Bryson. He's sorry about his dad. He's an honourable kid. You can rely on me, sir. Ah, oh, he's fading. I know the story arcs are only short in this game, but they're still beautiful. Just remember. I'll always be by your side. Oh, it's beautiful. And a fig. Boom, two out of seven. Not bad going. Oh, no worries, man. You're a bowl-headed legend, my friend. Turn to poor Flatham. Whoop. There we go. Perfect transition. so weird seeing the 2D and the 3D models next to each other. The, the upscaling only applies to 3D. Looks a bit of a mess. As of today, the ferry's back up and running again. Ooh wee! Bryce, you're a dick. Right, I think that is job done in poor Flathan. So next episode, we will head through the ferry into the next continent. Let's just wish Jonah a good goodbye. But it's fine. Oh, it's a beautiful story. Oh, a tidy lad. A cheeky romance is blooming, but I think for this episode we are job done. So thank you very much for watching to all five of my viewers now, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye!